Your grand company. You know, those primary colored officers who fought to recruit you back when you were too new to the game to understand or care what they were actually about? You probably chose one based on your favorite color, or your favorite city leader, or out of dedication to your home city. Or you panicked unnecessarily and did a ton of research only to find out that the general consensus is it doesn't matter who you choose for this seemingly permanent decision. But it isn't permanent. You're actually supposed to switch grand companies in the game and rank up in each of them. What else would the Warrior of Light do? And what else would make each city-state happy? So how do you switch grand companies? And when should you do it? Here's some info on it so you can make that decision for yourself. 1. What does your grand company actually do for you? The common answer is that now that Frontlines has changed to an entirely freelance system, your grand company does little for you gameplay-wise and is generally speaking an aesthetic choice only. Each grand company offers their own gear, their own chocobo barding, their own minions, and their own hunt uniforms. So these are the exclusive items you'll be after from each of them. On top of this, each grand company has their own achievements, which also offer exclusive items. And each has their own hunt logs, which give seals. Seals are also exclusive. You may have noticed in your currency tab that the company seals are not one currency, but three. Flame seals, serpent seals, and storm seals. The higher you rank with each company, the more seals from them you can carry at one time. 2. Switching Grand Companies at the rank of second lieutenant for your grand company, you can sneak over to the personnel officer of another grand company in their headquarters and let them know you're interested in joining their ranks. They will be ecstatic. They will give you a bit of a warning that you will be starting off fresh with them and your rank, seals, and PvP levels of your previous grand company won't count for anything. No special treatment. Nada. You won't lose these, I promise. Your previous grand company won't hold it against you. Whenever you decide you want to come back, they will welcome you with open arms and hand you your previous title, currency, and rank back. In the meantime, you'll have to prove yourself with your new grand company. Your first switch is free, but after that you'll have to pay 50k gil to make the change. And you'll have to wait at least 15 days between transfers. You know, paperwork, processing times, and y you know how it is. It's worth it to note, at this point, that it's against Eorzean law to wear the colors of a grand company while you are serving under a different one. So any gear you have belonging to your previous grand company will not be wearable as long as you are with your new one. But don't worry, with a new grand company hunting log, you'll be ranking up again quickly enough and will be able to buy a brand new set. So you may be asking, what about my squadron? Well, the good news is they are told to pack their things and follow you to your new Grand Company headquarters, so they'll be waiting for you in the barracks. When you're high enough rank to be able to command them. Yeah, your new Grand Company will keep you busy with menial tasks until you can scrounge up enough seals to prove your worth to them, but when you finally do, you'll find you have all the clout and authority you did with your previous company. So with this ability to flit around between companies as you choose, you have the chance to snag all the achievements for each in the achievements menu. I'm not saying that's going to be easy. It can take you a long time. A very long time. But as someone who has been around the block several times, I can assure you that any progress you make on those achievements is etched in stone as well. So anytime you want to switch back and complete them, you can. Also remember, if you ever get lost and can't recall what you need to do to get to the next rank, your personnel officer can tell you. If he's got nothing to say to you, check your character tab, you're probably second lieutenant or better. The final two ranks come from inside the barracks with your squadrons. And yes, yes, there are like eight ranks above captain, but there's no way to get them. I've been eagerly awaiting these for years, but there's been no word about it yet. I know this isn't a complete guide to grand companies, but I hope it's enough of an overview to reduce some of your anxiety about your choice and to excite you towards the possibilities of exploring the others. And if you've been spending all your grand company seals on ventures, check out this video on how to make the most of your retainers. Have a great day gamers, and I'll see you in game.